Okay, good morning, guys. We are live. We are. We're live. It is 15 minutes after 10 a.m. this Wednesday morning, the very first day of August 2018. Can you believe that? August. What's up with that? I'll give you a few seconds to jump on here. Join me this morning for another devotion. We're going to look at a, um, a hymn that I've never heard before. But I do love the words after I read this, and, and it goes right along with what I was thinking about yesterday, um, or I should say last night, about 11 o'clock, I was praying and looking over Scripture for today's devotion. And It's been a little busy this morning here at work, and so between that and then getting this devotion put together, that's why I'm on here a little bit late. Hi, Olita. Hi, Margie. Hi, Roger. Hi, Billy. Hi, Sandra. Matthew. All righty, let's go ahead and get started here. Again, we're going to look at a, um, a church hymn that I've never heard before. You guys might have heard this in the past. Um, and this actually is the very foundation of our devotion this morning. Nothing is impossible with God. <laughs> Isn't that so true? Oh, Lita, I'm old. but you're old. I may be old, but you're older than me. So, let's look. We've got about four verses of Scripture that we're going to look at. Um, starting with Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. And I love each one of these verses, and it should give us an encouragement this morning to know that whatever we face, it's no different than what others in the past has faced, and God's come through for them. So we just need to trust in the Lord and know that He'll come through for us um, if it's His will. And we always need to pray God's will be done in our life. Um, that's why a lot of people are disappointed because when they ask God for something, um, not one, they ask without really believing that God will do it. Um, and the Bible teaches us that we have to have faith and we have to believe when we ask. Um, secondly, we, when we pray for something, we must pray that it's God's will um, to be done. Um, we set ourselves up for disappointment if we don't pray for God's will. Um, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Hi, Deborah. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Now listen closely. Is there anything too hard for me? This is something that God was revealing to Jeremiah um, concerning the promise of deliverance. Um, Jeremiah, we, we, we know that he was um, called the weeping prophet. Not because he was a crybaby, not because he was whiny, but because he was always standing in the gap for Israel. He was always standing there praying for Israel, calling out to God on behalf of Israel because Israel um, would constantly find themselves um, disobeying God, constantly finding themselves in idolatry, um, which was pretty much the number one. If you ever read throughout the Old Testament of, about Israel, it seems like their number one um, failure was they always found something other than God to worship. And Jeremiah always stood in the gap and prayed and, and called out to God for mercy and, and, and for help over, the, over God's people. And Jeremiah was given this promise by God. He said, is there anything too hard for me? You know, that God will reconcile His people back to Him and deliver them out of the bondage that they found themselves in. Um, again, we'll, um, or not again, but we'll also go into Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. And again, we'll read this. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, 
and Sarah shall have a son. You may read this um, before, and if you remember when, when the man of God was prophesying this, um, that Sarah laughed in herself and, and said, you know, I'm old and, and Abraham's old and there's no possible way this is, can happen. And they said, well, we'll see. We'll come back and we'll see. We'll see what happens. And um, we're, no, we're no better. We look at these things in the Bible and we say, oh, I can't believe they said this. And I can't believe they wouldn't believe in God. And I can't believe they didn't trust God on this matter. But if we stop and look at our own lives, and how often do we trust the Lord or how often do we... Um, um, you know, our unbelief rises up in us when problems comes against ourselves. You know, it's easy to look at somebody else and say, well, why can't you trust God? But when you have troubles and you have struggles, why can't you trust God? Um, sometimes it's, it's difficult, not because we don't think God can do it, but we, well, we'll read the scripture in a minute, talking about having our faith and, and, and our belief. But in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, it says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. This was the conversation that the angel of the Lord was having with Mary. And when Mary, when he was telling Mary that she was going to be with child, and you know the story, and Mary said, How can this be when I know not a man? And, and that's when the angel says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. And then Mary said, well, behold, your handmaiden. You know, and he told him, he said, listen, Elizabeth was barren, and she's now um, with child as well. And then we go into Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And this was the story where um, a man had come to the disciples with their child that was possessed and and they couldn't cast out the devil they couldn't cast out the demons out of the child and they sent him to jesus and you know jesus is like you know why can't you you know all things are possible if you believe and jesus had had cast out the demons out of this child and you know and i read these four different verses a couple of them were kind of parallel with genesis and luke being sarah with child and mary with child but, you know, the thing of it is, is whether, you know, whatever situation you may have in your life that might look completely hopeless, just know that God is a God of miracles. God can work miracles. God can do things when we can't even fathom in our mind that things can happen. Um, many of times... I've spoke with people in the past, and even in our own life, you know, we wanted another child, and we had a miscarriage in 04, and the doctor said there was absolutely no possible way that you could have any more children, you know, naturally. And, you know, it was just impossible, they said. And we, we just accepted the fact and never really thought nothing else about it. And, and, you know, over the years we kind of joked a little bit about it, but never really took it serious. We, we had DJ, and we was okay with that. And then in 2012, surprise, you know, Dusty was pregnant, and, and um, or I should say 2013, and, um, and then surprise, here comes Dustin. So, in man's eyes, things look impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And I want to share that message with you today. I want to share that hope with you today. That whatever you're facing, whatever affliction that's in your body, whatever trouble, whatever situation that you come against that looks absolutely helpless and hopeless, in man's eyes, in man's strength, it might be hopeless. But I want you to know that we serve a God of impossibilities. He can make things happen when we don't see no way. And so now, and like I said, we're living proof of that. And now we have a 17-year-old and, and, and a 4-year-old. And because God has perfect timing and God worked things out the way He sees fit, we just need to trust in Him. Um, uh, let's look at the song this morning, Nothing is Impossible 
is the title of this song. It was written by Eugene L. Clark in 1966. Um, don't know much about the fella, and I'll have to kind of research because they said he's wrote many songs in the past, so I'm kind of curious of what else has he written. Um, he was a songwriter, a poet, um, a musician, um, but what we don't know about him was he was also blind. And it goes to show you just because you don't have your eyesight doesn't mean that you can't still use your talents for God. Um, it said that as the years went on in his life that he was struck with a crippling um, with crippling arthritis in his hands. So bad that he was unable to even use his hands. Um, and he used to play the organ and the piano. And it was so bad that he wasn't able to use his musical talents anymore. But instead of giving up, what he had done was he had his wife to bring a video or a um, audio recorder and he would record all his lyrics that would come to his mind and you know all the music that he would write he would record and then somebody else would copy for him and he would went on and he wrote several uh, more songs and poems and cantatas um, for the missionary groups and just different things in his life so just because you know, he wasn't able to physically play music anymore. He did not allow that to stop him for still using what talents he had for God. And what a what a lesson that is for us. You know, we think, okay, um, I want to do something, and and I'm now I'm not able to do it. And and instead of having a pity party and stop, you know, trying to work for the Lord, he found another way to still get his music and and still get his words out. Um, and his last, one of his last songs that he's written was Nothing Is Impossible. There's four verses to this song in the course, and I don't have the slightest idea of the tune of it. I did find a um, little video. I shared the link on the front page of this. Um, click on it to get an idea of the tune. The tune actually sounds familiar, but I don't know... Of the, I don't think I've ever heard it before, but I might have and then totally forgotten. Um, but the tune does sound a little bit familiar to me. But anyway, let's look at the um, verses of this song first. First verse says, um, I read in the Bible the promise of God that nothing for Him is too hard. Impossible things He had promised to do if we faithfully trust in His Word. Verse 2, the word of the Lord is an anchor secure when winds of uncertainty blow. Though man in his weakness may falter and fail, his word will not fail us, we know. Verse 3, All things are possible. This is his word. Receive it, tis written for you. Believe in his promises. God cannot fail. For what he said he will do. Verse 4 Creator of all things with infinite power. He spoke, they appeared by his mouth. Impossible things are not known unto him. He made us, he ruleth the earth. And the course of this song says, Nothing is impossible when you put your trust in God. Nothing is impossible when you're trusting in His Word. Hearken to the voice of God. To thee, is there anything too hard for me? Then put your trust in God alone and rest upon His Word. For everything, oh everything, yes everything, is possible with God. <laughs> Isn't that good? So folks, listen. Whatever you're going through today, I don't know your struggles. I don't know your fears and, and your disappointments that's in life. But whatever you're facing, I can honestly say with my whole heart that you put your faith in and trust in God. Because there is nothing impossible with God. He can do anything that we ask if it's His will. 
So I want you to know today that whatever you're facing, whatever you're struggling with, turn it to God. Take it to the Lord and say, God, here it is. And help me to trust and believe that you'll work it out the way you see fit. Folks, that I'm glad that He's not only our, our Heavenly Father, He not only sent His Son to be our Savior, but He cares about our struggles. He cares about our, our heartaches. He cares about our wants and our needs. And there's nothing impossible with the Lord if you just, just believe. So, listen, that's all i got for you today. Um, as I was studying this, it's funny because sometimes these devotion comes very difficult to me and I really have to dig and study and find and then sometimes they just pop up and and as I was doing this devotion today I stumbled on another scripture that just stayed with me so I jotted it down for tomorrow's devotion and then as I went on I found another scripture which is going to be Friday's devotion so I kind of got a little head start so which is pretty cool um, I don't always get that kind of blessing where they come very easy but I'm excited about tomorrow's devotion and for Friday's devotion but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's stop today and realize that there is nothing impossible with God just trust in Him, call out on Him, because He cares for you, so cast all your cares upon Him today. Listen, share this video if you don't mind. Um, just keep the faith, keep looking up, because there's nothing impossible with our Lord. So, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Love you. God bless you.